leading the charge to ban microbeads in New York. The shelves in the cosmetic and personal skin care aisles are lined with products that contain microbeads. They help with exfoliation and abrasion. The beads eventually make their way into our water supply. They're turning up in the tens of millions in the Great Lakes, including Lake Ontario. Environmentalists say the beads become coated with toxins, eventually making their way up the food chain to our dinner tables. Fish are eating these little plastic beads. Uh, they end up in the fish. A lot of contaminants actually attach themselves to the beads, so those end up um, inside the fish as well. State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman wants to ban the sale of face washes and body scrubs that contain the beads. If there's a alternative that's you know safe and organic it sounds like it's something that that would definitely be a great replacement there are some natural alternatives already on the market exfoliants made from nuts and fruit pits found in apricots and avocados it's something those we talk to say is worth exploring it's really on our generation to start taking some of that initiative because we haven't even known to think about it for so long that it's it's really on us to take responsibility. If New York takes the lead, this could affect products and the way they are manufactured around the country. And if you're like me, Maureen, you have plenty of products like this in your bathroom. Keep in mind, it's not banned yet. It is simply a proposal at this point. But now that the state attorney general's involved, I imagine manufacturers are paying attention. Yes, they are, and some have already phased the beads or they're at least starting to others have never used them in the first place they've used non-plastic alternatives so it's already taking a move toward that direction thanks Amy